Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just watched us draw one all against Burnley. Uh, altogether, I'm not upset with that result considering the last couple games have gone and the performances and that first half, I am not upset. I think that overall that's a pretty, pretty okay result. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs> so I did a weird thing and I took a nap. It wasn't planned. Um, I'm, I was just exhausted and I woke up literally at 5.30 so I had to get Sky Go on, turn it on and and uh, start watching the game. I missed the first couple minutes so um, and pretty much the first half was a, a not a blur but it was a bit dozy. Um, but I feel like I wasn't the only one who was napping in that half. I felt like Spurs was just rubbish. They scored in what the 12th minute or something. And honestly, whatever formation we were, we had on with that five at the back, or at least the three at the back, it just doesn't work. Um, and we looked rubbish. They were just running through us, pressure, pressure, pressure through the midfield. We just couldn't keep the ball. And it was it was really painful. I hardly watched it. I mean, it was I was watching the game. It was right there, but it was just so painful. So... That first half performance, I was like, that's it, that's done. Like, there's no way we're getting anything out of this game. Absolutely nothing. And I, based on how the last couple of games have gone and how substitutions and how the players have been, it's just, it was rubbish. So that first half was massive write-off for me. But credit to Mourinho, I think, in the in the fact that in half time he brought on the Celso, which is obviously a no-brainer. The guy's been our best player since, like, we've signed him so he's like a must start for me for like every game from now on as much as he can manage because that guy when we brought him on and we pushed Dio into midfield he it, it, our midfield just got a lot more solid and the cells were pulling the strings it was just a much more even game in that second half and we then won a penalty Lamella was brought down on the line of the box and Delhi took it really nicely actually and scored so he got his 50th premier 50th Premier League goal which is really nice um I'm glad we scored and to be fair as I said I don't think I mean maybe Burnley could have deserved it based on the first half but I think in the second half we looked quite good considering recently so I'm not you know my expectations have lowered a lot lately um I pretty much wrote off as I said the first half so compared to that it's actually a lot more positive than I thought it would be as I said I didn't think we could score I didn't know where it would come from so Compared to that one point away, I'm not upset one bit. Like I just think that's perfectly fine. Uh, it's something to build on. And, you know, because if Burnley would have won, they would have overtaken us. So this way they aren't. So, um, yeah, there's not much more to it, really. I think, as I said, for me, Lo Celso is a must. He was, he was brilliant. Um, Dyer made a couple of decent tackles in the second half as well. And, and Lloris made a mistake for that goal, didn't he? Apparently. I like the guy a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. He's our best keeper right now, but I think he's getting old. Um, maybe reaction times are slowing down. I don't know. I mean, it's weird calling a 30-plus-year-old person old. But, um, but yeah, It anyway, I still think we probably need a classy keeper, a classy young keeper. But right now, I'll take Larice for sure. I still think he's our best keeper. But um, it's not helping us. And the defence... It was alright, nothing crazy. Davies is injured now, everyone's injured. Uh, Delhi looked lively in that second half. I must say, I enjoyed that. I think that was really good. Um, I think the goal obviously helped him a lot. Lucas is good. Bergwijn's alright. I think he's still trying to adapt to things. Uh, Aurea came on. Nothing notable, really, um, from what I saw. I'm just trying to think through all the players, but... Realistically, yeah, I mean, the first half was just a massive write-off, but I'm just glad that we managed to bring it back. It just shows a bit better mentality. And to be honest, what it shows is that we're not the sort of team who can set up the really, really defensive Mourinho way. It just won't work for us. It's not how the majority of the group of these players were used to playing for five years. And even the new additions, the new additions are all forward-thinking players. No one's really going to be able to do that defensive um, play. So we saw it didn't work on the weekend we didn't work in the first half here so as long as we to stick yeah as long as we try to stick to the forward thinking mentality then we'll be able to defend better as well in my opinion we still need fast and strong skilled defenders but uh we can't set up very very defensively because you know it just doesn't work for us so that's something to take away from this game slightly better result and 
I don't know what else to say really. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Um, I'm just glad that I'm not upset or, you know, like it's not another loss and all these sort of things. It's just slightly more positive. It's not that brilliant, don't get me wrong. Um, but it could have been way worse. It, was, it always could be better, but it was not really going to be better. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking and rambling now, but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I will see you next time we've got Leipzig away so not going obviously um probably we'll watch it so yeah probably another review of that so yeah anyway come on you spurs <laughs>